Hey, Rick here, EFC, and uh, my good buddy, y'all know, is... Brandon. Yeah. Hey, guys. And uh, we're just doing a little follow-up. I, I think something happened this past Sunday, and I uh, really appreciate this guy. Um, and we did something that just was kind of reflective and uh, thought, you know what, maybe we could do this midweek uh, for, for us and for others that I think this is kind of a real issue. And what is that issue? Um, is that whole idea of just what do I need to let go of? Um, and there's just so much, isn't there, Ben, that's, that's just weighing people down and, and stress yeah. and anxiety and uh, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I think we're just constantly, you know, inundated with just all kinds of stuff. We've got social media, internet, wherever it's all coming yeah. from, uh, especially with the, you know, the, the war in, in Ukraine going on now. We're just, yeah. we're feeling a lot of the weight of the world yeah. and we tend to just take it on ourselves. Um, and, and we don't often just take the time to, to seek Jesus and, and, yeah. and let, you know, offload. To yeah. Him. Yeah. How have you learned to do that? <laughs> I'm. I, I wouldn't say I've learned yeah, to yeah. do that. I am in process for sure. Yeah. Um, but it's it's yeah, what what tends to work for me the best um, is just just kind of taking those little moments. Yeah. Just a few minutes. Uh, yeah. a, a time or two or three. Yeah. A, in, in a day, you know, it, it, you know, if if you need to, I like to be able to. I'm, I'm not doing this very well right now, but. Uh, you know, morning, kind of midday yeah. and nighttime, yeah. just finding some time to pause and just be with Jesus. Yeah. Um, if you can find those times, that can be really helpful. Just to, just to, to ask that question and ask that question to yourself. Right. Um, what do I need to let go of? Sometimes, sometimes you may not know. A lot of times you may not know. Yeah. Uh, and just kind of looking for for uh, guidance from from God. Absolutely. And I, and I think what you just talked about, and, and we're kind of learning that right now, is with the stuff that we're doing as a leadership here at EFC. He is trying to carve those times out because if you maybe are a Christian, you've been a you know a Christ follower for a long time. Maybe you're used to having a thing in the morning, a quiet time or devotional, whatever you want to call it. But we're kind of going through a uh, right now, kind of a, uh, just a course and, and more than a course, but anyhow, of really setting that time aside multiple times throughout the day um, to to be with Jesus. And and I think Brandon, maybe you can speak of this too, is that oftentimes we don't know what's going yeah. on. And it's taken me a long time, and I'm still learning this too, is though in that silence and quiet is where all of a sudden God can reveal something to me. If I, if I can slow down enough to get all the noise out of my head, which is coming from different places. And so even when we did this on Sunday in the different church services, yeah. you know, for me, something really specific came to mind. And, and that's what I had to let go of. And does that seem to help you as well? Totally, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just getting that time just to slow down, mm -hmm. um, and just to, even even if there's not anything particular yeah. on your mind um, or on your heart, uh, just slowing down and getting in into some time with Jesus can can reveal some things yeah. going on. So, yeah. Maybe we should practice that right now. Yeah, it's it's let's yeah. do it. Hey, I, you can do it. Uh, just watching this, and you can just write a note down. And here's here's the question: Is you know what what do you need to let go of? You know, give to God right now and. One of the things I've learned, Brandon, is, is, is surrendering isn't a passive act. Mm -hmm. It really does take a lot of strength. And, and oftentimes I don't control, you know, whether it's the narrative or the, the idea, the even church world, the business that we're in, so to speak, is it's stressful right now. Everything has changed so dramatically. And then you add on top of that a pandemic and now, you know, even the potential of, of, of a war that could go really awry quickly. It's so different. It's so difficult. A lot of anxiety. So. I, I encourage you, just whatever, you, whatever you're going through, feel free, because we'll pray for you. So you can jot down. So I guess that question again is, is what? Yeah, yeah just, uh, just uh, I'll, I'm going to sing yep. uh, just a chorus of this song. Just feel free to Good. use this time to just kind of meditate uh, and, and think on that, that question. Uh, just what do you need to let go of? Yeah, I like it. Yep. Let's play a little strum, give us a little quiet time. And...
you hold it You hold it all You hold it all Lord You hold it all You hold it all great reminder you know great song I was thinking as you were singing Brandon just whatever that is and if you write that down there in the comment section you know we're gonna pray for you um, and uh, just to know that that ultimately it's okay if you feel alone uh, even Jesus at the very end of his life and his ministry in the garden there um, felt like God forsaken him you know but one of the most powerful things is he said not my will your will be done it's kind of like you know here it is you know this is I find this the hardest work oftentimes in the Christian life is whatever that issue or issues are to turn those over to God. So I want to pray for you right now. God, I just thank you, Lord. Thanks for my brother here. Um, it was a, just a great reminder this last Sunday for so many of us here at EFC. And, and we just thought we wanted to share this again. And uh, there are so many that we know that are just struggling and hurting, carrying such heavy burdens. And uh, Father, we're, we're called to help lift that a little bit for others. That's kind of what we're trying to do here. But ultimately, Lord, that, uh, that they would turn these things over to you, do their part, but Father, just to continue to release those things that we cannot control, not our will, but your will be done, God. And I pray that you would meet them in some incredibly special way, um, maybe even in quiet and stillness, Lord, and that they would know how much they are loved by you, and that they wouldn't find their hope in their circumstances, but that ultimately we would all find our hope in you and you alone. In Jesus' name I'll pray. Amen. Amen. Thanks, brother. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good one.